Hi, I'm Ami Daniel from She's Single New York, and you're watching Single Cinema. Today we're watching Two Can Play That Game. Time to chat, ladies. Every time. Oh, hey. Sorry I'm a little pissed off right now, but my best friend Karen is having man trouble. Uh-uh. Mm-mm. Mm-mm, not, not that. Mm-mm. You want to know something? I don't like calling people ugly, but there's ugly people in the world, yes. And I used to think to myself, like, you know what, if I date an ugly guy, then he would treat me better. But in my experience, that didn't work either. So it's like, if I'm going to suffer, I might as well suffer with somebody that I like to look at. Since online too. Tell her I'm in a meeting, but I'll be there in an hour. Tracy, another one of my girlfriends. Man trouble too. <laughs> Seems like every woman I know is having man trouble. Have you ever noticed around spring, say, early summer, men start to act up a little bit? Mm-hmm, they do. See, they don't act up in the wintertime because they want to get that indoor activity going on. Mm-hmm. But as soon as the season some breaks, some men, girl, they show their say ass. It's, it's some men it's are, true. you know, I, I haven't, I'm not saying that I haven't met, met one yet, but, you know, it, I mean, not from personal experience. I think every guy that I've dealt with um, showed their ass, as Vivica just said. But I'm sure, you know, somewhere in this land of about 8 billion people, there's a man that, you know, is decent. It's true. It happens every year around spring, the breakup season. The time of year when women start wearing little mini skirts and skimpy clothes, letting their little stuff just hang all out, causing men to lose their damn mind. <laughs> spring. Time of year when I have to counsel all of my girlfriends on how to keep their no good, unable to say no, men in line. Huh. It's amazing what a little warm weather can do. When the weather is warm, that's when they start the arguments because they want to be single for the summer, single for the hot weather, and then they're trying to be nice afterwards so that, you know, they could have something to cuddle with in the fall. We on to you. We're on to you. Hello, yellow. That's funny, girl. <laughs> Any emergencies, call me on my cell. I always will. Men are so predictable. <laughs> you know, you have to really keep your composure because sometimes I do, you know, you, you walk in an elevator and somebody's looking at your butt. I almost don't turn around like when I, you know, when I'm in an elevator full of, you know, men, which is disturbing. Um, it's really sad to have to go through that as a woman. But literally when I'm in an elevator professional, I, when I would leave or when I'm walking, I don't look back because I already know what I'm going to see. Like sometimes they just don't care. And it's really, it's really bad. And all the rest of it. Let's get married tonight. Now. See what I mean? Karen, are you still in your PJs? Baby, it's 11.30. I know. Oh, are you feeling a little better? A little. Good. How about this? Bam! Oh, chrysanthemums. <laughs> your favorite, right? Shante, you know you're my girl. Right. I got your back. <laughs> I love the women supporting each other narrative. Like, I always love to see, you know, women supporting each other, lifting each other up, putting crowns on each other's heads without downing each other or, you know, it's nice. Nice to see. Mm -mm. I mean, I get it. I get it. But I just, oh God, I can't. Like, I, you know, I, I don't know. But I understand love, but it's like, when a guy breaks your heart, you just got to fill your head and fill yourself with things to do, motivation, goals, you know? I just use it to make me stronger. I can't sit around and cry. 
I just, my mom didn't raise me that way. You know me, I don't need no introduction. Drive business around the city, I'm buttons. Arm hanging, wrist hanging, just cutting it. Drop the top block, it's how I stay bumping you. These answers get it right, don't tangle and twist it. Hit the club every night, drunk, drinking that crystal. Man, don't like it, cause I'm banging it. When the light hit the ice. Connie Spalding, Vice President of Marketing and a bona fide hoe. Hey, Connie! Hey, girl, how you been? Fine, where you headed? <laughs> up there to see your man. Is he up there? Oh, he's up there. Let me go hard at that Negro. Okay. Okay. Bye, sweetie. <laughs> Bitch. Okay, every girl's got a little bit of hoe in them, but Connie, she's a different kind of hoe. She's a lay on her back, do whatever it takes to get your man kind of hoe. I, I mean, I, she's a, if she's saying she's a known hoe, then okay, but I always see that, you know, whenever you see a black person, a, well, a black woman in power, it's like, oh, did she have sex to get there? Or, you know, there's always some type of, did she this or did she that? Not ever, oh yeah, did she work her ass off to get where she's at? No, she had to, she had to spread her legs to get there, right? That's me too, I, I have a lot of trust. Well, I start off with a clean slate with 100% trust and it's up to you to uphold and maintain that 100% trust. Um, you know, and if it deteriorates, then that's on you, and I'm gone. Messing with nobody but you. Use a liar. I ain't lying. Use a liar. Girl, please, why? Just because you smelled some perfume on me the other day, I done told you I was hugging my mother. And some of her perfume must have got all over my shirt. What's up? I know you lying, Dwayne. I know you lying, because I found these drawers tucked underneath the couch today, so who? See, I don't have time for that. I, I legit don't have time for that. Like, that's, that's too much. Yeah. Like, that's too much energy. If you have to plant some underwear uh, underneath the couch and see, to see if your man is cheating, if you have to go through all of that, like, it's not, it's not worth it. It's not. Then, look at that, you're too damn jealous. There goes the gaslighting and the manipulation and how they try to flip it on you. Yeah, no, God forbid. Mm-mm, mm-mm with all the things that you can have on your plate and then you have to worry about, you know, who a guy is messing with behind your back too. Like, I just feel like a relationship is supposed to, it's supposed to be pleasure, like not stress. Imagine that, like coming from a long day of work, working, you know, all the things that you do and then you have to worry if somebody's being an infidel. God forbid. Before a man cheats on you, there are always signs. I was working late. What you trying to say? What's wrong with a brother buying some new underwear? I mean, you know, yeah, I wear food of the loos, but I want to try Calvin Klein's. I was working late. My ring? Oh, baby, it's right here in my top pocket. I was itching my finger. I was working late. I know I ain't worked out in three years, baby, but I'm trying to get back into shape for you. I'm thinking about you. The number one excuse of a cheating man is? I was working late. That's right. I was working late. There's like so much em emphasis placed on cheating. You know, like, what if he was working late? <clears throat> I'm lying. <laughs> I mean, I get it, you know, but uh, I'm, I'm a just person. And I mean, yes, there are several men that lie and cheat and stuff, but I don't really like how they're kind of portraying black men as if, you know, they're either liars or cheaters, or if they're successful, they're gonna cheat, or, or they're either bums. Like, you know, I, I do see that black men are not painted, um, you know, in, in a good light. And, you know, that actually can cause a lot more trouble than it's worth, you know? Should shine some light on, you know, there's a lot of good black men. I've met them. There's a lot of good black men. The a stigma that all black men are good for is sex. And that's so sad because it's not true. They're like, you know, if you are if you were ever loved by a black man, like it's it's like no other. I say no either. Look, all I know is whenever I have a problem with my man, I call Shantae because she keeps it real. Ladies, can I get some on keeping it real? Okay. Keep it real. Keep it real. <laughs> Shantae, isn't it Keith over there on the 
on the dance floor? I thought you said he was working late. Damn, girl. What you gonna do? I'm gonna go over there and say hey. I'll be right back. Hey! No good son of a bitch! Damn, that is me. That is me. If I honestly, like, if I, you know, was dating somebody and I saw them at the club dancing when they said that they were um, going to work late, I wouldn't, like, scream or cause a scene or anything like that. I would calmly approach them and, you know, let them know that I see you, I see what you got going on, and they'll probably never hear from me again. Hey, oh, I thought that was you. What's up? <laughs> Hey, this is, um... I'm Shantae. I'm sorry. Hey. Um, is that DKNY? Yes, it sure is. Oh, girl, cute. Oh, thank you, girl. Nice to see you, Keith. This is exactly how soon. I would do it. All right, y'all be careful. Okay, the girls are gone. Now it's time to implement the 10-day program. From this point on, pay attention, because it's going to go kind of fast. First thing you do... Check your answer machine. You have if he hasn't called yet, it's not that he doesn't care. He just hasn't figured out an approach yet. Cardinal rule number one. Like, why does it always have to be a game? Like, if you want to talk to somebody, call them. If you want to talk about something, call them. Like, why you got to wait for the next call and this and that and other stuff? I don't got time. I don't know. I don't have time for all that. That's, like, too much. Like, if you do something wrong, talk about it, nip it in the butt. Like, you know, not this... You gotta wait one day, wait 10 minutes, don't answer first, don't answer. If I see a text, I'm answering it. If my phone is in my hand, you know, if I see a call, I'm answering it. If my phone is in my hand. If not, then I'm not gonna answer it. Like, the guessing game, the, mm, too much. Hmm. I'm about to turn up the heat up in here, man. I'm about to turn up the heat. Oh, wait, hey, 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 hey. Hi. Would you like to dance? I'd love to. All right, please. Yeah. Take it off, man. Three. Don't worry about him. He's like a child begging for attention. Ignore him. Recognize that that little performance over there, all that bumping and grinding, it's just to get your attention. Doesn't matter what he's doing. Direct all of your attention to him. Doesn't matter what he's talking about. Just be real attentive. Laugh at all of his jokes. Act like you are having a ball. <sighs> okay. This is it. Prepare for a night of heat. When you open the door, your man should be sitting, waiting on the couch for you with flowers. She do got a nice butt though. She does. She does. Keith. I guess you didn't consider that all men are not the same, you Keith. know, and there's no script. There's no book. There's nothing that anyone can say to help you really with your relationship. You got to do that on your own. You got to figure out the person because what will questions? work for one may not work for another. This 10 step, 20 step plan that she had going on, never was I doing all that. You were caught with a woman. Don't do it again. Let me know next time, blah, blah, blah. Like, how cliche. All the answers to my question. How cliche. That's not happening. That's not. It's, it's not going there. Do you like basketball? Yes. Do you find me attractive? Not Big Keith. Big Keith, sitting there, chestnut, sitting there, not talking to no woman. Yes. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Call, catch me on another day. Can catch me on a good day. Question. You think a woman who thought she could control her man with rules could ever get him to come back? No. Turn this thing off. Just turn it off. We ended it here. I don't want to do this. This is ridiculous. This is not, this is not happening. This is not, mm-mm. And cut.
cut this movie off. No, I'm like, okay. <sighs> well, I hope you enjoyed watching Two Can Play That Game with me on Single Cinema. Bye.